It's time to make our predictions for what's going to happen this weekend at the 2024 Imola Grand Prix. And no, I'm not saying the entire name. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're here with more predictions for F1 this season after Lando Norris took his maiden win in F1 last week. I think we're all feeling a little bit more energized as we continue on. I still don't think we're really truly going to see anything too crazy when it comes to the championships, but I think we have seen that maybe we'll see some good things along the way, maybe a little bit more than we expected when the season started, especially after Max won majority of the first races, bar one Carlos Sainz win in Australia. But that's not why we're here today. Today we're here to talk about Imola. The Imola Grand Prix was canceled last year due to flooding and weather in the area in Italy last year. Hopefully that area has recovered enough. I, I haven't seen a whole lot of talks about it, at least in terms of last year to this year. So I hope it's gotten a little bit better. But the, hopefully we get some good weather this weekend and we can see Imola because Imola is an exciting track. I do think I, I really enjoyed watching it the first year that I followed F1 back in 2022. And so I'm excited to get back there once again. In terms of our predictions, we're going to be talking about our biggest positive surprise, our biggest disappointments, our qualifying top three, our race podium, and we'll round things out with our one crazy prediction and as always if you are interested in getting in on the prediction action hit the link in the description below join our discord and you'll see our community predictions appear along the bottom here as we go through them and you can have yours included in the video as well and join our little competition that we have going on this year when it comes to prediction and getting them correct but let's go ahead let's get this thing started with our biggest positive surprise before we hop into our first prediction, if you enjoy Formula One or sim racing content in general, subscribe down below. That's what we do here on this channel and we're having a lot of fun with it. We'd love to have you in our little community as well as leave a comment below what your predictions are as we go through them. I'm very curious to see what you guys think is going to happen this weekend in Imola. And last but not least, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. It really helps me out. But let's get things started with our biggest positive surprise. And I have gone for Oscar Piastri. Now, even after the unfortunate damage that he received from Carlos Sainz in Miami and only having half of the McLaren upgrades that, saw, that we saw bring Lando Norris to his first win, he actually ran a very good weekend. He was running effectively on the podium the majority of the race outside of obviously the safety car timing just really, really screwing him in the end and you know putting him in that battle with Carlos. I think we're going to see Oscar have an above average weekend from start to finish this weekend now that he has or at least will have the full range of the upgrades that Lando had in Miami. And if he can continue to have that you know momentum that he had in Miami before the unluckiness that he did have. I think we'll see Oscar have a very special weekend and potentially one of his best of the year so far. Let's move things right along with our biggest disappointment. And I hate to, you know, really try and drag a guy down after he had a very good weekend. But my biggest disappointment pick is Esteban Ocon. Um, I do think that Esteban had a very above average weekend in Miami. I think Alpine have definitely found something now that they've finally been able to hit, you know, the minimum weight of the car. But for just some reason, it feels like it's almost too good to be true, especially with how poorly we saw them start the year. And I don't know if they brought upgrades so far. I think they have brought a couple, but maybe not enough. I think we might see Alpine kind of return to form a little bit. And this weekend could be a driver makes the results type of weekend for Alpine. And so I think even though he did score Alpine's first point of the season, I do think we'll see Alpine take a step back. And it might be a disappointing weekend for SD Bestie. Let's roll things right along with our qualifying predictions. We'll start in P3 this week. I have gone for the Ferrari in a home soil. Charles Leclerc found himself a little bit here in Miami. And I don't think that necessarily means he's back. You know, Charles obviously being considered, you know, the qualifying, you know, is definitely one of his better portions of his racecraft and his, and his ability as a driver. We did see him do very, very well in Miami. I do think we see that continue here, but only to the tune of P3. Ferrari are bringing upgrades to Imola. We'll have to wait and see how those, you know, affect the car and how it's you know pace over a single lap um so i have gone for charles leclerc p3 in qualifying moving on to p2 lando norris that's right i think lando is going to try and carry the momentum forward of getting his first win in miami 
he has shown a propensity to show good pace in qualifying, but not necessarily be able to put it all together when it matters the most in Q3. I think we'll see a different Lando Norris now that he has the weight of, a, of the first win off his back. I think he's going to be both eager to you know show that it wasn't just a fluke, but also have a little bit of that weight off of him in qualifying that potentially we'll see a very, very good result to the tune of a front row start. Not only that, but also the fact that he's now had a full weekend uh, to get used to the upgrades, and now he'll head to a new track with the upgrades, you know, well-known, know how it behaves on track, and be able to translate that into a single lap pace. We'll have to see. Finally, we've arrived. Pole position for Emila Max Verstappen. Now, I know we saw Max not win in Miami, but he still did take pole. He led a majority of the race, and it took uh, damage from his own mistake, admittedly his own mistake, and a very lucky safety car timing for Lando to keep Max Verstappen from winning the race. And so now we move on to Imola, and I don't think the Red Bull is going to have any trouble in terms of qualifying. Um, obviously, it took a safety car in Miami to keep him winning from the race, but we're not there yet. We're not on the podium quite yet. So we're talking about qualifying. Max has been one of the best qualifying runs, I think, I, that I've definitely seen since I started watching F1. Um, I don't think they're going to see anything change this week in Emma unless we get some maybe some rain. There's I know there's been some inclement weather uh, reported for the weekend. I know it's kind of primarily been focused more on Sunday, but who knows? Uh, weather in Italy? Fickle. We saw it last year. Weather can come and go pretty much as it pleases. So, Max, you're my pick for pole position. Coming down to it, Sunday race results. Our podium prediction will start in P1 this time, because I think my P3 is much more exciting. Uh, my P1, my race winner this weekend at Imola is Max Verstappen. Um, just because we did see Lando show very good pace compared to the Red Bull, it was against a damaged Red Bull, and Max Verstappen on older tires while Lando had the, the, you know, the benefit of fresher tires. So it'll be interesting to see this weekend, but at the same time, it's so hard for me to bet against Max Verstappen taking a win. Um, if things go as to plan, we might see a fight for the win, but can someone else actually take the win? I'm not sure. So, Max, you're my pick for P1, the race winner this weekend in Imola. Moving on to P2, I have gone for Charles Leclerc. I think Charles is due for another good result, and um, hopefully he'll carry the momentum forward that he had in Miami and put in another very good result uh, this weekend, moving up from P3 to P2 in terms of my qualifying to race podium predictions. I think Charles is going to perform very well on home soil. I think he is definitely motivated when they head back to Italy, and I think we'll see a very good result this weekend for Charles. And then rounding out my podium predictions, Oscar Piastri in P3. I don't believe we've seen Oscar on the podium so far this year, and I think after seeing what he was able to do in Miami with half of the upgrades, I'm excited to see what he can do in terms of having the full gambit of uh, upgrades. And you'll notice that I did drop Lando Norris out of my podium predictions. I do think that just the vibes around the race itself, for as much as I think Lando is going to be motivated to carry his momentum forward, I think it could potentially tip just a little too far, push a little too hard on a single spot, and we've seen him be unlucky enough to be wrangled up in other people's incidents, enough where I think that, unfortunately, it might just be something we see continue. It also could just be on pure pace. Who knows? Crazy things happen. We saw it in Miami. So, Oscar, you round up my podium predictions. Rounding things out with our one crazy prediction. And now, I don't remember if it was mentioned in Miami. I don't think I listened to the broadcast quite this closely. My prediction is that the broadcasters will mention the Kimi Antonelli to Williams rumor at some point during the weekend. There's been a lot of talk off track about what's been going on in the background, and I just have a feeling, especially because we're not going to be getting Crofty this weekend, that we may get a rogue announcement either in practice or in the race itself to just mention the rumors uh, what's roiling on in the background that we may hear about the Kimi Antonelli rumors uh, in from the broadcast crew on television. In terms of catching this, I'm going to have to listen very closely. <laughs> I, uh, we'll have to see if we can play some honor system. Maybe someone in the Discord can, uh, can catch it in the meantime. Or not. Who knows? But that is going to be my one crazy prediction. I think there's been a lot of talk um, over the Miami weekend that maybe once it starts to settle a bit after the Miami weekend finishes, that they may feel comfortable enough to talk about the rumors. And I just said there's a weird feeling in the air around that second Williams seat, especially with Sargent having 
all, albeit a very good start to a season, all things considered, um, at least in terms of his pace compared to Albon. He's definitely had a couple of moments where you can see that definitely not the result he wished he would have had, but he has had very good you know, results so far this season. Um, but I just think it's going to be weird one of those things, especially after, since the rumor was that Kimmy was going to be jumping in for Imla, I think it may come up and it's just a weird vibe I have. We'll see if it comes true. Let me know if I'm crazy down in the comment section below. So guys, that wraps up my predictions. To remind you of our current standings, uh, Sentinel currently leads with 24 and a half points. I'm quickly and shortly behind with 24. British is 23 and a half points to his name. F1 Inferno, who joined us for China, now has nine. And Wolf458, who joined us for Miami, has three and a half. Once again, if you're interested in jumping in and getting in on the action, uh, join the Discord link down below. Every week we lead up to a Grand Prix weekend. I'll make a call for predictions and you'll be either be included here in the video or at minimum, I'll add you to the spreadsheet and keep track of your points as we go. But, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me here. I'm super excited for Emla. It's going to be a very fun weekend. I just have good feelings about it. I think we'll see an exciting race. <sighs> I hope. I hope we see an exciting race. But, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll see you after the weekend finishes, and I'll see you in the next one.